collectors, gift givers, and crafters? I have been looking all over for the Barbie accessory pack lounging theme. It's like $5 and super cute. I ended up finding it on Amazon in a Barbie accessory pack bundle. There it is, right there. It just showed up in a large box. Oh wow, they're all individually packaged in plastic bags. This is the one I've been wanting. And usually in a store, it comes in a box by itself, but because we bought the bundle, we have three. This one is the lounge theme. This one looks like a pet theme. And this one looks like fun in the sun. We can open them up, take out what's inside. Oh, those are in their own little section over there. Okay, there we go. Puppy, flip-flops, and some green sunglasses. That's a super tiny puppy there. We also have a beach towel, a clear bag that can actually hold stuff, and a beach chair. It's pink with white legs and a pencil yellow armrest, and Barbie is written across the back. Totally perfect for a day chilling at the beach. In the pet accessory pack, we get a purple pet bed, a scratching post with a bed area on top. There are two little fuzzy cuts of fabric, one to go on top of the little post, like so. And then the other one, I assume, goes in the little doggy bed. Now that's kind of cool. I really like that they added these little fabric details. That's awesome. There is a pink pet bowl, two little bones that we can place in the bowl, a pink ball of yarn on a little string that attaches to the scratching post. There's a little rope bone, a little brown puppy, and a gray cat. Aw, I think the cat is kind of cute. I don't think I've seen this one before. If your doll is an animal lover, this may be just the set for you. And here is the lounge set. We have a cut piece of fabric. It's a faux fur, very, very soft. There's a gray kitten, super tiny. There's a lap tray. This is really cute. We have orange glasses on it and a small little yellow mug and a pink backrest pillow. It is plastic and it looks like a cat. This has been on my to-do list for months. I've been wanting to make one. So when I saw that Barbie was offering one in a playset, I was like, they're speaking to me and saying it's time for a versus. Let's start with the faux fur rug. It might be a blanket, but I'm gonna go with the rug. I found a scrap of a fluffy fabric it's a cream colored Sherpa and I'm using a piece of white felt. You can just cut out a rectangle and lay it on the floor. Bam, you're done. But I wanna seal those edges. So I cut the felt to the size I want the rug. For me, that is six and a half by nine inches. Turn the fluffy fabric over so the fluffy side is facing down. Place the felt on top trimming off the excess, leaving about a half an inch around the edge. Take the excess and fold it over the felt and use glue to secure in place. Once everything has been glued and the glue is dry, flip it over and we have a fluffy new rug. But what if this was a blanket? All right, let's make a blanket too. I have a salmon and a cream cotton fabric. I use a piece of paper as a pattern to cut rectangles, stack the two pieces of fabric good side to good side, and I'm gonna add a layer of felt just to make it a little plush. Sew a straight line around the edge, leaving an opening, trim off the excess, snip the corners, then flip it between the two layers of fabric so the felt is on the inside. Fold over the edges, then sew the opening closed using a blind stitch. Iron it flat 
Now let's top stitch on a few details like a border and maybe some stripes. This is completely optional, but I thought it would be fun to add a little detail. I decided to sew a bunch of squares. And now we have like a little comforter for the dolls to snuggle up with. For the backrest, let's try a little needle felting. I opened up my needle felting kit that I bought on Amazon and I don't have a lot of any one color. So, but I do have a lot of cream. I bought this a long time ago when I was just trying to experiment with needle felting. So I guess our backrest is gonna be made out of this. Now, please remember, I am a total newbie when it comes to needle felting, but the only way to get better is to practice. I'm going to start by folding it over to make kind of like a squarish shaped pillow. Then just pull off the excess to separate it. Let's take out our little protective mat, place the wool felt on top, and then we're just going to move this over to the other side and use the needle felting needle to just kind of poke it to make everything stay in place. And we're gonna start trying to develop a little bit of a shape. This needle is very sharp and it has little barbs on it, so you do not wanna get poked. There is protective finger wear, so you could use that to help minimize risk. So I'm pretty much just poking it in the areas I want smoothed out. This does take a while. I had to add a little more fluff to the inside because it was just way too soft. Now I'm gonna take this little bit of wool and I'm gonna cover up my opening and then continue to stab it with the needle to try to smooth it out. All right, so we will be putting on those little protective finger guards there. Ah, uh, cause that hurts a lot. I am making it a little flatter on the bottom and I'm starting to think I used a lot of wool because this is getting pretty dense. But maybe that's a good thing because that'll mean that it'll hold its shape. All right, so we got it a little flatter on the bottom. I think the top is a little too square, so maybe we can poke those in and round it out a little bit. This is totally starting to look better. And I'm getting faster too, man. Now let's make the arms. Lay out some wool. And I'm gonna fold it over. Well, let's fold it in half. That looks about right. And then I'm gonna start at one end and just roll it pretty tightly. All right, that looks about right. Pull off the excess. We're just gonna lay this right over and then poke it with the needle. And I want the ends to be kind of rounded. Let's just smooth that out a little. I got it pretty flat on one end and the other end has a whole bunch of loose fluff. I made two and I tried to get them about the same size. Take the fluffy end, spread out those fibers, place it on the back in the corner and then just poke it to keep it in place. So now my backrest has armrest. That is pretty solid, actually. That's pretty cool. Hmm, let's add a little more wool right through here and a face. Yeah, that looks a little more even. Now let's add some white right in the middle. Hopefully you can see it because this is cream and now we're just adding a little bit of white. I'm gonna be a little creative here and add a small circle of white felt. Now I know that won't really stay by itself. Now let's add the white on top and poke it. And I made it kind of rounded. Make a ball of cream that looks pretty round. And we left one side fluffy. I made two and we're just gonna attach them onto the top corners to make little ears. Add a little pink to the ears, then add some black for eyes, a nose, and a mouth. 
to make Kori Lakuma. Okay, looking good. Next, we need a lap tray. I'm going to use cardstock and scrapbook paper. Cut the paper into an inch and a half strips. Then cut the strips at five and a half inches. Cut several. I have about seven here. Cut the wood grain paper to the same measurements. Stack and glue all of the cardstock together. I'm using a glue stick and I'm pretty generous with the glue, but I do want to move fairly quickly because I want to get this bent before the glue dries. So we're going to measure over an inch and a half from the edge and then just bend it. All right, and then we're going to make sure it stays smooth and repeat on the other side. Add an inch and a half. Take some time to press out any bubbles and you're just gonna hold that in place until it dries. Once dried, glue the wood grain on top to make a lap tray. For the glasses, we can use the glasses from our DIY glasses with lenses video. And for the mug, we can use our miniature mug from our DIY Sharpie mug video. Barbie's set has a small cat. So I'm going to use my Briar Cat from the Collecta series. Completing this versus. When it comes to cost, I'm pretty certain Barbie beat me on this one. Individually, this lounge set sells for $4.99. I didn't go out and buy anything new for this project. This is all materials I already had in my studio. However, if I was to go and buy them, I am certain I will be paying way more than $5. I mean, the cat alone is $2.99. But the glasses can be made from recycled materials. The table is just cardstock and a scrap of scrapbook paper. And the blanket is just leftover fabric. But if you are having a difficult time finding this set, now we can make one. And if you want to make stuff inspired by the pet theme set, we made a pet bed in our seven dogs quick craft video, along with a toy, dog food, treats, we made a rope bone in our doll pet shop accessories video. And we have a whole cat enclosure from our Collecta review when we made an animal shelter. Now what about the beach set? We can use the chair from our how to make doll beach chairs video. Cut a rectangle from an old t-shirt to make a quick beach towel. We have a clear bag from our DIY how to make designer clear fashion using back to school supplies video. Let's put that right there. And we have sandals from our how to make doll Adidas sandals video. You know what? Let's swap out the yellow bag for a clear one so everything matches. Wow, I didn't plan on doing all of this. I was just going to make the lounge set. But thank you for joining us for another Versus. Let us know in the comments down below if our DIYs came close or did we miss the mark. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.